live. Oh man. Uh, welcome back to another video. We're like halfway in my kitchen here. But today we got. What do we have here? What do we have here? PC parts. Uh, as you guys can tell, give you guys a little closer look with uh, these uh, cinematic shot on this new camera we got. But here we are. I'm gonna flip the camera real quick. Cause I can. I don't know how that looks on camera when I go to post. But here we are. We have mid tower thermal take. Uh, 3600 speed rip jaws. Um, DDR4 RAM. Uh, RGB K70 MK.2 SC. What it says on the board. Corsair keyboard. Um, we got the new B550 board, Gigabyte Aorus, or just Aorus, yeah, Gigabyte Aorus, uh, Pro AC, did not realize that it's actually an AC board, which is for, I guess, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. We have a GeForce GTX Ventus XS Overclocked Edition 1660, um, what is it? What is that called? It is not a graphics card. There we go. And we've got a 144 hertz um, monitor here by Acer Gaming XFA series monitor. Got our uh, succulent um, pad here, and as well as the rest of the uh, Zen Garden as we like to call it here in our estate there's more plants over there um and we have some extension cables um hopefully i guess all the right ones that i need um this is my first build um 10 gigabytes no 10 terabytes of um storage um this will be my second hard drive because this will be well, this is the HDD, as you can tell. There we go. And then this is what I'm going to be running my OS on. Operating system, Windows 10. 500 gigabytes of SSD here, NVMe. And for the processor, I went with the Ryzen uh, 5 3600. There we go. There it is right there. And that is the PC components. So as you guys can tell, I don't have my uh, power supply yet, but we could definitely still start building this without it. All right, case, uh, cable extension, Acer, uh, yeah, that's off. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording right now. I'm getting demonetized, bro, with that music. It's okay. My bad, bro. Just, just play like something else. I think I've opened this already. Just not taking anything out. I just, let's take this out one-handed. Carefully. Oh, uh, I'll leave all this in here. Um, these will be for another time. I don't think I might need this, one of these at least, um, for my hard drive I think that'll fit on there um, this one I think I'll keep out too so I'll just leave one of these out pretty sure I don't need it let's uh, open this up uh, that is also why I have something else here I have the box now so cut that carefully Gotta recover it up, you know? Don't cut nothing else in here. So I guess I'll talk about why I uh, got this one. Um, 
price wise and it wasn't too far behind and I guess um, being a third gen and also matching with the board being third gen compatible um, without any BIOS update and whatnot um, so that's why I went with this one I didn't want to go any slower because I'll be using this for editing I mean other processors I'm sure will be just fine oh, this is gonna be the first time touching a CPU I've watched many videos to know handle it from its edges not with the bottom not touching the bottom or the top here um, I'll put that back real quick so I could uh, unlatch this here oh yeah and then find all the right golden squares or triangles there's one right there at the bottom left Ugh. this is probably horrible um, video skills um, but the other corresponding triangle is right there I don't see anything else so drop that in no pressure it's in there bring that down Ooh, first CPU install and I think it went well very well do some RAM just getting right into it I hear a rule of thumb of course is to go away from the CPU and then doing dual channels so space them apart yep and these are G skill rip jaw fives okay Trying to be gentle. Um, never handled any kind of parts like this. Um, let's match up the notches. Totally not matching them up. Flip her around. I think I said that these are, um, what is it? 3600 speed. 3600. That was a quiet click, but I'm pretty sure I got it in. Um, they are 2 by 8 gigabytes, so 16 gigs in total. <sighs> this does not want to come out. Again, no click. Did I uh, do something wrong? Um, there's a click there. We've got two things done, RAM and CPU. Thing is going well, and it's so hot in here. It's like 80 degrees in here, it feels like. Uh, next, next, let's get the screwdriver and get the M.2 slot open. Oh my gosh, and we're live, baby. Bro. Would you like to do the honors and uh, take that bro, off for yeah, me? Bro. Yeah, let let's see it happen, bro. Make it very satisfying. Oh, let yeah, me get God, closer. Ready? Ready? Oh, oh, juicy. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Why? Why would you do? Oh my. Oh my. Keep it going. Oh, that. Oh, keep it going. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah, bro. Fuck. Come on. Oh, all the way to the end, bro. Look at that little strip. <laughs> of aluminum what like that say? <laughs> what does that say <laughs> team up fight on <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah bro yeah. oh look at that little aluminum thing shiny piece there okay that's all that's all <laughs> oh man all this all this i took this out we've got a wd Blue SM550 gigabit gigabyte, and we're gonna put her on the top one. Um, I'll just do it there because um, I don't think there's gonna be any problem except for um, one part of the uh, SATA plugs. Two of them actually are gonna go out. Oh, oh, am I? 
Okay. I thought it was stripping it for a second. All right. All right. All right. We're getting them out. Oh, yeah. Did I get it out? Oh, I need to go a little more. A little more. Oh, there it is. Now we're out. There we go. Um, oh, that slides out. I'll be needing to take that off. Um, ooh, it's already pretty installed with the uh, nub. Nub there. The nub and the screw. So, let's get that that out. Oh, no. Am I stripping it? Oh, no. No, no. Well, actually, I could do one more thing while we're here. Put on the uh, fan. CPU cooler fan. That uh, AMD, thankfully, adds in so I can save money and buy more baller things for the build than the rig. Um, so, let's get that on there. Here, let's flip it for you guys. Guys and gals, you know, it's 2020 now. Hopefully I get this video out for 2020. So it has uh, a whole square of thermal paste, so let's not touch that. Also didn't buy any thermal paste, so uh, whoop de doo if I, if I screw up, then that's too bad. So we need to take off those four first. The puzzle underneath here, um, where it, it's New Orleans. Beautiful, right? We finished it a few days ago. And it's just in its glory spot on the table. Um, just laying here. Since we finished it, you know, you wanna put it up on display. Nice and beautiful. Um, so I took the fan CPU cooler off, um, and now I just, like, had a problem with the back plate, that's all, um, to screw this in, so I'm gonna just continue where I was, I flipped the fan around, um, so now the, uh, plug is over here, plug is back that way instead of down right here this way case out I realize don't need the uh this the bottom I do not need the M.2 in to put the motherboard in the case roll four fans and one CPU fan, so that is uh, five fans in total. Tempered glass, handle with care. Also gonna take this uh, back panel off. Need the screwdriver, cause they took this out before already to, to check it out. And these are on there pretty tight. Oop, gonna switch it. Both of those off. Alright. Oh, there. A little latch right there. That'll go there too. Oh. So Thermal Take has this little module here thingy. Has one fan, two, three, four five fan connectors or two I mean not two um, all four of the fans there and then I think this is oh the fan switch for I believe the RGB probably not never mind that's it right here all these right here Honestly, don't know what most of this stuff is. HD audio, I see that. Um, 
front USB, just the regular USB 2.0s I think. And then there's a 3.0 mic and aux for the audio. They have the RGB button to configure eight different colors just for the fans up front. Restart these other lights, LEDs, power button. Got some little zip ties in here with they all with all the uh, necessary um, screws, extra thumb screws I can see in there. Um, slide that in. Needs to come down a bit. I think we're good. Most of the standoffs are aligned except for the top ones. We live, baby. Got one, two, three. Uh, gonna get the rest in now. I know now that this will screw my board in. So we're Gucci there. We live, baby. Alright, we got him out. Now I can go in here. Go over here. Carefully hold this. Put it in at an angle. Oh. The angle? Is it this way? Ah, uh, yeah. Now? in there alrighty next step is to take this tape off of the back here to keep that drive cool A little hefty thing here look how thick that is Yeah, M.2 in. We live, baby. Got uh, the ATX uh, 24 pin uh, extension plugged in. Hopefully it looks all right. Um, definitely behind uh, the back there. It does not. Um, up top, the uh, 4 plus 4 pin top ATX that plug extension is in um we got these front io connections hd audio on the left um usb 3.2 gen 1 i believe and then gen 2 is that one um it says it right there or just 3.0 and then 2.0 connector 3.0 um yeah i don't think it's gen 2 and then i have the uh power switch leds and the uh other plugs in there hey what's up we're in my room right now and uh this is where i'll be setting my pc up oh here we go flip that around here we've got almost everything in as you guys can see no graphics card yet um, I have that and the power supply to put in so It's been a few days finally came in got delayed and So my case supports a 170 max um, power supply length 170 millimeters. This is 180 so There seems to be I checked before already that there's plenty of room to uh um, slide it in there so should have no problems um, so let's get the power supply in and let's get the graphics card in and then tidy everything up there 
Here it is. Looks like nothing else in the box. Balance it there. All the ports. Oh, it looks like HDMI and three display ports on the back here. Okay, so looky here, I got one of the brackets off here for the uh, display ports. Um, so they are like welded on. If you guys can see one. Whoops. Okay. Well, they are welded on there, just on some hinges, a couple. Then you gotta like just wiggle and break them off, but just be careful and mindful that if you already have the motherboard installed that at the end inside will kind of like scrape the edge of the board um so the graphics card will just occupy these two here and i want to also show you the uh, back plate that msi has here pretty nice no need for any um plastic wrap to peel off there let's readjust the camera and get this thing installed for you all right so got everything set up and uh ready to install this graphics card oh first open that up Nice click there. All right, and it looks like just one screw on the side here. And I actually need to find that screw, so I have to uh, grab the screws. I don't know what box I left them in. So give me just a sec. And uh, I'll go ahead and finish screwing that up and then uh, we'll get the power supply, Corsair, HX 1000 watt in and uh, tidy everything up show you guys in a bit how my um, cable management looks later but has a shroud um, it looks like I'll it has a little hole here I'll uh, occupy that so I could uh, um, plug it into there so nice cable management there for that Everything else looks like it's all tidy. I already opened it up before when I got it and took out the cable, some of the cables that I needed. One of them I did not. Put these back. Here is this massive. There's that zero RPM fan. Yeah, I'll uh, connect all the necessary cables that I need. I'll... So the fan is going to be facing down. There's one right there. At the bottom here. It's working out. Yes. Actually, looks like such a mess if you guys look closely now. There you go, better lighting of what's going on here. Cable extensions. I just need to clip these hanging out here. Uh, everything's plugged in. Hopefully. I do need to fix this part still or I'll leave it like that just a little snake here it is I'd say this is pretty much as completed as it can be everything else is connected I'll get the combs on here in a second um, yeah got the label right there for the power supply 
do some peeling first. This side. Oh. little pieces out oh oh okay okay won't bug me too much and there's another peel on the tempered glass but I'll wait to do that in a second let's get the uh, power strip to the wall get the uh, cable let's try to see if I built a PC and it comes on moment of truth here um, got that switched on all right oh my gosh I'm like shaking after I finished plugging everything in got the combs on got a little nice swork short liberty snake oh oh wait what happened Alrighty, third time's a charm. Let's do this. Okay. With some more adjustments. Oh, yes. With some adjustments and rewiring, plugging in and replugging stuff in, we have... A a PC running oh my gosh oh my gosh GPU fans on CPU CPU fan just came on front RGB um, is on the Oris orange we've got a light there um, Probably because I don't have any peripherals on. Boot, DRAM, DRAM um, CPU, VGA. Those are the uh, LEDs there. If anything goes wrong with any of them, it'll indicate and tell me which one is which. But let's go. We got it running. Hi. Had to just um, flip a wire around um, as of and move some around. I don't know what fixed it, but fourth, fifth, fifth try, I think. Fifth try, actually. I Here we go. The final piece. Oh, yeah. go against the Yeah, I'm gonna put it on, and when I have the, uh, leave it on while, um, I get everything started with the monitor. Take down. Here we have the, uh, stand. Have the... Display, power, uh, audio wire, aux wire. Uh, I'll raise you, raise you guys up a bit. Oh, hopefully you guys could see me. Kind of got in the general area. All right, so this is what this other piece that I got. And the bottom of it has like a little hook thingy material where you could pull out just twist okay it's pretty tight you can put a screwdriver because 
has a screwdriver head. The actual display. Alright. Oof. Hefty boy. It's got this there. Tell you what it has to remind you. Um, I'll leave it on for a second here. But take it off. Then it also has some plastic here. Get a good peel. Look how to put this on, but you guys see here, they have those prongs. Then those hooky type ones at the bottom. And I'ma just slide her on. All right, don't fall now. Ooh, clicks in. There we go. It also spins, but I leave kind of everything how it is. Probably didn't screw. Oh, screw this to the base down correctly. So need to do that. Now that I have the monitor. It will stay, it will stay at the height that I move it at. Okay, with further inspection, there's a small knob and big knob on the right that uh, match with the corresponding holes at the bottom of the uh, stand here. Um, and that's how it goes in. You got to make sure you line it up and then get it in there and... Uh, Pursue the screw, the middle screw, into the uh, base. And now it sits flush, no wobble. Um, and I just found out there's the button right there to release the monitor screen from here. Pull this here out. Here I have set up my field on top of a Dyson box away from the floor. Mm, this is temporary of course, but uh, this is going to be how my setup will look like. Have my thumb drive, still need to download the windows, so I need to go do that first. There's a light on in there. Looks good. Look at that. Now we got Windows. Uh, US keyboard next. Install. Installing. All right, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Windows cannot open the required file. Are available and restart. Okay. Restarting, gonna just head into BIOS and make sure I did install all the other uh, stuff. Just that fan that I could see doesn't look like my drives are in, none of them. Um, well, hold on, WDC boot sequence hold on there's m.2 right here okay m.2 is in pcie uh this graphics card sata looks like my sata connection is not working um i have both my drives in 2133 megahertz mm, well XMP on um, profile one. 
Yes. Okay. Right there. Um, 16 gigs RAM, 36 Ryzen 5, 3600, 6 core. Yep. Um, my board. Here's some other stuff. All right, for like the uh, 30th time, let's get this thing rolling. This time I compressed the install.wim and it works. Heck yeah. All right, what are we going for? I think I'll just go with, uh, let's see, home or pro? Not much a difference with pro. I think I'll just go with home. And later when I want to buy it, that'll happen. If I end up buying it or something, you know. Scroll through, accept the license, um, custom install on my, what looks like the only drive I have right now, which I need to look into more um, for the 10 terabytes. Um, but yeah, this is my SSD that I'll be using to boot up and then click next. All right, I'll uh, hit you guys back up in a sec here um, after everything is installed. So far, everything is solid. Windows installing, then I'll be starting with downloading Google and all the other applications and making sure Windows is up to date. Oh yeah, we in. All right, got her, got her up and running. Um, I might just have to figure out um another power cable for the uh, um, ten terabytes, and also make sure that it might be showing up on here. I just need a driver for it and stuff. Um, but yeah, all good so far. All right, looks a lot cleaner now. Windows is still updating. I'm about to, uh, um, well, not right now, but once this finishes up, restart, and then uh, check again. Kind of just following through um, Paul's hardware, um, what to do after um, building your PC, and just following along with him to see what else I need to do. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, all right. Oh. Okay. Um, this is pretty much going to be the end of the video for you guys here. Um, thank you guys for joining in, watching me build my PC. The first of maybe a few. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be building a lot or anything. I mean, probably add more parts and stuff to here um, later on down the line. Uh, but thank you guys for coming along and uh, watching the video. This is a long one. I'ma just, yeah, you guys seen it all. Decided to just edit and put out the whole video for you guys to watch and enjoy. I haven't posted in a while. Um, but now that I have the computer set up, I'ma download and edit this video and edit the other videos working on my car as of right now it's running and everything's going well but I did you know record it on the way add added a few things here and there and uh, I'll have it up for you guys to watch so thank you guys for watching hope you like the video like comment subscribe and uh, be ready for more what's to come thank you guys peace out